Greetings, Couch Potatoes. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Witness. Thanks for tuning back in, guys. So when we left off, we were slightly stumped on this panel here because you can only kind of vaguely see it from back here. You can't really make it out. Turns out there's actually quite a simple solution to this. There's another little uh, reflective area right here. So all you really got to do is come stand over here and then you can see it pretty much perfectly. So let me see uh, if I can remember how this works. This is a couple days later from the last recording. It's You have to mirror the image here, so you're kind of going the opposite direction of where you actually wanted to go. There we go. When I was looking around this area, I actually uh, encountered a couple of weird movement things. Like right here, there's like an invisible wall here. I'm not sure if that's significant at all. <laughs> it might be like a glitch or a bug. No, it's these reflective areas. You can't really walk over them. I don't know if... I'm not even sure what this is honestly supposed to be. I mean, like, if it's like a mirror on the ground, or if it's an actual hole with like an alternate reality being reflected back up at you. Maybe that's why you can't cross them, because it's like a hole in the ground. I don't know, man. It's weird. This game is weird. who to thunk? But in any case, now we've got this panel lit up, and... We have to figure out where we view this guy from. This looks to be the place right here. It's split up though, so we're gonna start right there. It comes over, up, down. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a bit of a brain fuck. So now they're getting into the thing where you can't, like, keep your eyes on it while you're tracing it. You have to actually learn the pattern, but it's, like, completely backwards from what you know. If I try and start it here, can I still see what I'm doing? You kind of can. So I think this is the start. Nope, already wrong. There we go. And then it goes... Oh, boy. Let me look down at it again. <laughs> it goes down to, up to the center, and then it kind of hooks back up around itself. Alright, so it'll go up like that. Down. And then... Was it like... Uh, was it like that? No. Was it like that? Damn. This is tricky. Okay, let's start with the right starting point, first of all. <laughs> Which is this one. It goes down. The other side is what's, is what's jacking me up. When you go to this side, it goes up to the center. Then it kind of goes the opposite direction of where it came in. And then up towards the starting point and then hooks around. Ah, no. I don't want to be zoomed in on it. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why this is happening all of a sudden. It's not what I was really trying to do. Okay. Uh, wait, that's the same symbol I made before. I'm missing something about this. Oh, you can kind of see the... the imprint of where you left off, though. Which is interesting. If I get that far, and then look down real quick, what am I doing wrong? I'm taking the wrong turn when I go back to the center. So it's like that? <laughs> hey, there we go. That probably took a little bit longer than it should have. But, uh, yeah. I can see where the difficulty comes in on these puzzles. U up until now, I kind of felt like this was like one of the easiest parts of the game, but I am... I, I am, I'm getting it now, 
why this is tricky. Okay, so did this come over here? What the hell did that unlock? Oh, this guy right here. Okay. Uh, let's probably try and look at him from right here. Yes. It'd be really cool if I could angle this in a way that I could see it while I'm doing it. Because otherwise this is probably going to take me a while. Alright, we're going to start... What would that be? Like the top left dot of the hexagon? <laughs> I can at least do part of it from here. It's not really that helpful, though. <laughs> Alright, there she goes. And that finally seems to have unlocked the panel at the door. If I could just get around to it. <laughs> it trips you up when you're trying to move around this room. You can't walk over those spaces. Okay. I guess this just leads down to the same area. Yep. Oh gosh, there's more of them. I honestly did not expect this whole section to be this large. I guess it really is its own little area. Okay. We've got a couple panels here we can hit. Oh, oh, it's lowering the water level. Dude, is there a water temple in this game? <laughs> water temples are never fun. Jonathan Blow, didn't you know that? Silly bitch. Oh, it's still going. This takes a while. So, okay, it goes down far enough that I guess we could then hit this panel and bring it back up if we wanted to. And we can see a reflection way the hell down there at the bottom. I'm assuming that's a reflection. And not a whole other piece altogether. Okay, so this is going to be the kind of deal where we have to find the proper height of the water to get the reflection... I don't even know if it's actually water. I'm calling it that. It could be some other kind of <laughs> metaphysical substance. It kind of sounded like water, though. Okay, so this one's just a Z. It starts... <sighs> I've got to get the, these patterns into my head. It, you're, just, you're just basically reflecting everything. Just changing it. So this one will start at the bottom and go right... right and then zoom all the way back and then make like a Z. Okay. So if I'm looking at this correctly and doing it correctly in my head, it's like this? Fuck! If it's at the top down there, it should start at the bottom, shouldn't it? Isn't that logical? Alright, I need to solve this one and use this for my template to figure out the rest of these. Let's try it this way. Okay, what the fuck? So the... The height is the opposite, but the direction that it travels, as far as left and right, is the same? That's gonna mess with me real bad. Okay. Let's see if we can't find the right angle to look at this one. Yeah, this puzzle type right here is, is the, the kind that, uh, one of the kinds that really screws with my brain. It's just the way my brain works. I don't, it doesn't come easily to me. Don't know why. It's just the way it is. Alright, I 
I'm not seeing any useful reflection off this guy. We may have to... You can almost get it there. Just not quite. We may have to change the water level back. Let's see what happens if we bring it back up. We might have to look at it, like, while it's going up. Alright, we'll keep our eyes on it. See what happens. Aha, there it is. Okay, so that's like a sideways Z. So that would go... Yeah, Jesus. I think I did it the opposite way again. Oh no, that one was right. See, when I get it right, I think it's wrong. And when I get it wrong, I think it's right. <laughs> oh god, look at that one. That's gonna get complicated. So, th this is the whole trick to this place. You just keep moving this up and down. It's not, like, overly elaborate, as far as, uh, <laughs> water temples tend to go. Ocarina of Time, Legend of Zelda Water Temple. One of the most famously frustrating parts in video game history. This is not that bad, it's just tedious. So far. And I hope this actually works. It doesn't look like it's going to work. Great. I was worried about that. They're probably going to start introducing elements where not only do you have to have the water level at the right place and probably watch it as it moves up or down, you, you have to find the right angle while it's moving up or down. So you have a very finite amount of time to actually find the right place. And if you fuck it up, you just move the water level again, and try again. Is this a puzzle panel, or a reflection? No, I can fill it in. wonder where the reflection is. Alright, let's not go out of order. <laughs> let's stick with what we can do right now. Where do I want to watch this thing from? Maybe just like farther back here? Maybe right here? I'm not really seeing any light source get even remotely close to this thing is the problem. Son of a dick. Okay, well there you go, guys. <laughs> In trying to figure out this puzzle down here at the bottom, I noticed this uh, cleverly concealed environmental puzzle right here, so that's out of the way. You kind of had to grab that one as the water was going down because it would only form the perfect circle shape that you need to start it for like a couple seconds. Then you followed the whole thing around, as you just saw. This one is a, a real pain in the ass. I've noticed that you can sort of see the outline when it's like coming up, if you stand right here, but it's one of those deals where it's a really obscure view, 
and it's not really enough to go on, so I gotta figure that there's something else to this that I'm missing right now. I don't think you're supposed to be able to solve it off of this alone. If I can get a good angle here, I'll show you guys what I mean. It actually kind of looks like a like a double triangle pattern. Like it, it almost looks like it zigs back over itself, which is not possible. You see what I mean right there? I'm pretty sure with the way that line looks to me, like A, you can't see the starting and end points, and B, it looks impossible anyway. Um, I don't think there's any way to actually make that shape. I could be really wrong. But yeah, I, I feel like I'm still missing something about this one, and I'm not sure where to go from here. If we actually just pick like a random starting point and try and make like the shape, it was like a closed off like hourglass shape. But that is like not a thing. <laughs> as far as I can tell. Yeah, so... Hmm, not sure where to go from here. Oh. Oh. Okay, I think I saw the basic outline of the shape there. It looks different from the way it looks when viewed from this platform here. Now the trouble... I only got a, a glimpse of it for a second. The trouble is just going to be... Figuring out which way to recreate it. Okay. <laughs> Not actually as troublesome as I thought it would have been. But that was more of a lucky guess than anything else. I have to be perfectly honest with you guys. I'll never lie to you guys. That's my vow. From dude long couch to the couch potatoes. I give you the real honest truth. Even if I'm wrong. <laughs> which I am a lot of times. You guys have seen that in this series. But I'm honest about... My wrong belief, okay? Alright, so, this guy here. All these puzzles seem to work pretty much exactly the same. You just gotta f find the reflection, find the angle that lets you actually see it. There's that guy. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh wow, it actually, look at that, it actually comes up and overlaps with the actual puzzle. Well, that's a new one. Huh. I'm not sure if any of these are going to change the rules drastically, they all seem to work the same way so far. It's, And there's probably some super cool way to like look at the lighting and figure out like, like, deduce the way that you need to look at it, the correct angle you need. I'm not seeing anything like that. And I don't think I'm sharp enough to actually suss it out, even if there was. So I'm gonna keep going with my trial and error method and just, you know, have to chop up the video. Let's just try from right here. This looks like a promising angle. Whoa. I wonder if that's significant. The way the beams kind of crossed over it as it went down. Is this game crazy enough to take that and make it the solution to the puzzle? Of course it's crazy enough to do that. Why would I even have to ask that? But I don't know, that could be a coincidence or it could be a fake out. I mean, who can say really? It didn't look like it was, like, structurally solid enough to be a solution, if that makes sense. Let's, let's, let's take another look. Let's get an instant replay of that. It's kind of what it's doing. You can kind of see a shadow on it. I probably have to be standing over there. Kind of, You can kind of see a shadow on the right. When it comes up, it definitely, like, overlaps perfectly with some of those bars on the scaffolding. But I'm not convinced that's related to the solution. Alright, 
Let's try from over here. The good news is you can redirect the water or whatever it is uh, at pretty much any time. I can't get over any farther. This is not right at all. Oh. Oh. Oh, there it is. There it is. Looks like a little, uh... I'm not even sure what to call that. <laughs> okay, so that would have started from the bottom. Gone up and like that? Yes! I would love to see here an act big, like I, I got it on the first actual attempt uh, from skill, but it's... <laughs> I, I don't really think that's true. Uh, and then this, whoa. Really? Okay. This looks like... This kind of circles the whole thing and just takes out a slice. Can't really tell where it starts or ends, though. Now, you know what? I don't think it circles the whole thing. But I also can't tell the starting and ending points. Maybe if we go from the other side, we'll get a better view of it. Nope. Where's even... Oh, this is the panel to draw on. What the fuck? Alright, this, this puzzle's changing it up a little bit, because not only is this the panel I'm seeing the reflection of the solution on, it's also the, the panel that I draw on, apparently. Maybe it starts here, goes down... To this one? Does it start here? Haha! <laughs> Sweet! Did that work? I don't know what that did. Appears to be the solution, but I haven't seen it have an effect on anything. Huh. There's a line that runs here from somewhere. Oh, it's connected to this panel. Solvable yet? No. Okay, I'm not seeing any line con connected to this. I wonder if this is a environmental thing. Like a, like a rotational platform thing. Will this change the shape of something depending on how I do it? Um, let's try like this. No, it's really just the one solution. Apparently. Okay, the only thing I really know to try from here is to raise the water level again. 
Let's see if this has an effect on anything. bringing the whole damn thing up. Okay been brought to the surface. There's definitely nothing connected to it. Like, as far as wires. Uh, hold on, what was the last one I solved? Like before that one. It was this guy, right? Where is this one leading to? It goes up and joins with this one. These things are all interconnected in weird ways. These were the first two that I solved, right? So then they led... Their line just goes straight to this one. Which comes out, goes to this one. Yeah, these are all interconnected somehow. Fuck. Okay, so this line right here is the one that's kind of unaccounted for. Can't really see where it goes. Kind of lose track of it. Looks like maybe it leads back to this area. I'm guessing we have to get both of these, the one on the bottom and the one on top, lit up. And that's what'll open this gate here. But that's totally a guess. <laughs> and also, I have no idea how to do that. Ah, damn it. Alright, well, I was really hoping to finish this room in this session, but I seem to have slammed into another brick wall. And to be honest with you guys, uh, I need to take another break. I've got one more long work shift, and then I have a long weekend. I should be able to record a bunch of these and uh, hopefully make a lot of good progress over the weekend. Maybe even get this series close to finished. Um, I think once we get out of this area, we're going to mop up a handful of things and then actually go to the mountain and see what, like, the first ending. I've been trying to look up the way the endings work without spoiling anything for myself. And from what I understand, there's, like, a regular ending. There's, like, another one when you get, like, all 11 lasers. And then there's, like, a secret ending that you have to find somewhere. I'm not sure if all that's completely right. Uh, it's weird. This game is very, very weird. But, yeah, I think once we get out of here, like I said, there's just a handful of things that I want to take care of, and then we'll head to the mountain and start that area. And then once we're done with that, we'll come out and try and, like, 100% everything. I don't know if this will actually be a 100% walkthrough, because that sounds like a huge pain in the ass, and it probably won't happen, but <laughs> we'll give it the old college try. So, alright. Yeah, we'll come back to this then, and hopefully... Figure something out. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Dude Long Couch. I'll catch you guys in the next part. See ya.